This video is about knee pain and why you may not need that surgery or that injection or that medical intervention. So you have knee pain, you can't run, you can't do the things that you want to do, now what? Most people think that they need to go get an MRI or an x-ray and that whatever shows up on the x-ray is the final word. If it looks really bad, then you're screwed, you'll never run again, you'll never do the things you enjoy. If it looks good, then they don't understand why they have the pain. We have to start asking the right questions. How is a knee supposed to work? What does a knee normally do when it works? A lot of people think that a knee just sort of wears down. You go in and they tell you, well, there's a lot of wear and tear here. Well, that's the wrong perspective. Knees are supposed to wear down and they're supposed to build back up. So most people, if they run, they usually use both legs. Why does one knee hurt more than the other? Because there's an imbalance in the body. Your knees constantly wear down. You replace 90% of your cells in one year. You replace 100% of molecules in your body every seven years. So if you have knee pain, if, if you take an MRI and that knee looks terrible, well, you've replaced that knee dozens of times in your life. So it's not a problem of wearing it down, even though there can be some excessive wear. The problem is, why isn't it healing? And this is such an unknown concept. This is such a forgotten idea that in our healthcare system, if somebody actually gets better, we think there's something wrong. We spend $3.2 trillion on healthcare, but if somebody gets better, we think they got the wrong diagnosis in the first place. No, these things can't happen. Uh, if someone gets better, there must be something wrong. We want to change that way of thinking. We want to think that the body is supposed to heal. Things are supposed to get better. Things wear down and they rebuild, and if they don't get better, that's when something's wrong. What is it that's supposed to work about a knee? Well, first of all, a body part cannot work any better than the part of the brain that controls it. So, whether it's a knee or an elbow or a neck or a spine, the stability of that is only as good as the muscles that are balancing and controlling and stabilizing and moving it. Your range of motion is only as good as the brain's ability to control it. So that's step one. In order for the brain to control and manage the body parts, you have to give the brain enough information. You have to have what's called proprioception. That's the feedback from the body parts and from the environment to the brain. So if the brain has a complete picture, then the brain can control the body. So far, so good. Then we need a proper circulatory system because if we're going to rebuild, if we're going to wear down and rebuild that knee over and over, now we need circulation so we can bring the nutrients and the building blocks down there and so that we can remove the waste products and the broken cells and the debris. And then we also need for that blood to contain the proper nutrients. And in this day and age, there's hardly a person on the planet that has a complete nutrition because we eat processed foods, we eat refined foods, and we think we're doing okay if we exercise enough, we don't gain weight but those nutritional deficiency from that processed food, they catch up with us. It might take 10, 10 20, 30, 40, 50 years uh, before they show up, but during all that time, we're kind of wearing down the reserves. So just because you don't have symptoms doesn't mean that you're not missing nutrients. What does the knee need primarily? Well, cartilage, any connective tissue, which cartilage is, is primarily built up of protein uh, called collagen, which a major component is vitamin C. And we're not talking about ascorbic acid, we're talking about vitamin C complexes, the way that they occur in food, the way nature made them. So there are a few products out there that are truly natural. Uh, one that we use is called Standard Process. But just understand that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. Collagen is uh, a great source 
of course, is, is from meat, but also from things like bone broth. Uh, so either drink the bone broth or take some supplements made from bone broth. Don't get tricked into thinking that the bone meal that you buy in the store has anything to do with, with what you want. Those are just severely depleted and taken out everything of value. It's basically just a ground up calcium powder. So there are a lot of things that have to work. But the basic idea we want to get is it's not abnormal when the body gets better. Just because a, an MRI shows something or doesn't show something is not a death sentence. You have to look at what is supposed to work and you have to make it work again. You have to ask what does the body need to fix this and you have to give it to the body so it can fix it. A lot of times it's gone too far because we've gone decades without the proper balance, without the proper nutrition, and we've worn down our health reserves, our nutritional reserves. So that puts us a little bit behind the curve. We, we have some catching up to do. So once you start doing the right thing, don't expect miraculous instantaneous results, even though that can happen. And also you might need a little bit of help. There may be things that are putting your body out of balance, that are interfering. And look for someone in, in your area that uh, I would recommend someone like a chiropractor who does applied kinesiology, who is very skilled in whole food nutrition. What we do is called nutrition response testing and applied kinesiology. Those are the things that I know the most about. I know that we get excellent results with these things but just look around for someone in, in your area. But again, bottom line is the body is supposed to heal and we have been misled, we have been lied to. Uh, we have a healthcare system that is not a healthcare system but a sick care system. It's a crisis intervention system, it's a disease management system and while there is a place for all of that they're great at putting together a broken bone. They are terrible at understanding what is supposed to work in the body and help the body bring that, uh, fix that, give that to the body. So I hope this helped. Please comment below. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned. We want to make lots more of these videos and try to help people understand the, the truth about the body, the truth about healthcare that you're not a lost cause, there are ways, but we have to start understanding how the body works. Thank you.